Hey guys, we are from group They Who Should Not Be Named. Today we are going to talk about single processor versus multiprocessor. What is that? What is the difference? Do you know about this topic? Don't worry, because this video will help you master it. Okay, let's start. Single processor. It contains one main CPU that is capable of executing a general purpose instruction set, including instruction from user processors. Multiprocessor, also known as parallel system or tightly coupled system, use of two or more central processing units CPU, within a single computer system in a close communication sharing the computer bus, memory, and other peripheral devices. There are two types of multiprocessors. The first one is shared memory multiprocessors. The second one is distributed memory multiprocessors. Okay, that is all for introduction. Let's talk about the advantages of single processor. Less traffic compared to the traffic multiprocessor, no need for configuration, faster than multiprocessor because processor can execute many instructions instead of many programs. Let's take a look at the advantages of multiprocessor. It is more reliable, faster execution of multiple programs, and can use complex instructions. Multiple processors also are cheaper and cost-saving compared to the single processor. Nobody is perfect, so do processor too. It has its own drawbacks and issues too. For uni processing system, there is only a single processor. So, if it is damaged, then the whole system will break down. Parallelism is important because big problems can be split into smaller programs that can be executed at the same time to reduce execution time. Unit processor standard architecture system with well caged CPU do not use pipeline mode as frequent. For this reason, the capability on basic bus and off RAM bus does not have a very significant performance. Disadvantages of both systems are multi-processing system are for quick response. So, if one processor damage, then it will affect the system speed. In multi-processing system, more than one processors are connected in a single chip. So, for the designing of such chip, expensive tools and experts are required. There are many processors. So, every processor has own cost. As more processors, the system will be more expensive. There are more than one jobs are running on different processors. So, a lot of memory is required for these jobs to run. That's all from us. We hope this video will help you to understand better about this topic. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye!